Hello and welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video, I want to share with you a bookkeeping file for small businesses. You can use this file for managing your income, your expenses, and your COGS or your cost of goods sold. If you're new to this channel, I am specializing in Excel and Google Sheets and posting content all the time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button on the bottom so you don't miss out of anything. All right, let's start. So the file has basically four sheets. There's the list sheet, which has all the drop down lists, transaction, where it has all the transactions in it, a summary sheet, and a dashboard with some charts. Let us start. So, in the lists, I have four tables transaction type, income, expenses, and COGS. And what's important for something to work in the future that you'll see is that the income, expenses, and COGS are types are also the headers over here so this is just a table if you're not familiar how to build a table it's very easy I used I like to start with the header and say one two three and just select all of them go to insert here on the top click on table and make sure that my table has headers and that's it you have a table okay and I just take that out because we don't need that anymore All right, uh, and adding is very simple. Deleting is very simple, and I like to use headers be and tables because you can then, um, you know, reference them very easily. So that's the first part. You got the four tables. You know, those just for uh, formatting issues. I added here a company logo icon that you can change, and that will just flow with us throughout the file. There's another button here called New Transaction. We'll get that in a second. All right, so transactions. This is where you log basically all your transactions. The date, the amount, the expense type, which is what you have over here, and the description, which is basically one of those, and finally, the remarks if you have any. Now, I built a small user form that when you press it, it gives you this header, Add New Transaction, the date of today, you can change it of course the amount the type where you select one of them like income you get the options you select expenses you get those options and this is all coming from the lists sheet uh, you click the amount like 150 raw material I can add a remark and click on submit I'm gonna get this pop-up message and if I go all the way down, I see it over here. And you'll notice that it gives a negative sign for expenses or COGS and a positive sign for income. Um, also, if I don't fill out the sheet, all the fields, I get this pop-up message. Not all fields are filled out. Great transaction anyway. I can still uh, uh, do that, but I don't recommend. And I have a cancel button that just goes away. Now, if you want to learn how to build this simple user form, uh, click on dedicated video that I posted um, a week ago, actually. So you can just dive into the VBA code I used to build this. So check it out on the top. So I'm um, moving on with the transaction is the summary sheet. In the summary sheet, you have a pivot table, um, very simple pivot table. You just take the, the transaction, let's say, area I click on insert the pivot table go to new just change the the range let's say to 10,000 lines and then you can just format as you wish I use the type underneath the type I use the description <coughs> the amount and you can of course change the formatting if you want specific currency like US dollars or anything else so you can do that um, and the transaction date now transaction date you can just right click anywhere click on group and then you can 
select months and years, which is very comfortable. Of course, you can also change the uh, order, like I want to I wanna see the income first, for example. So I'm just dragging that. <coughs> and you can um, expand and collapse. And you'll notice that we have um, also a blank and some uh, blank uh, columns for dates so what I do is when I create a slicer or a timeline in this case so insert a timeline transaction date in any case that I recommend you do that you can select years and then once I um, select a certain year it's going to show me everything about that year Let me just and then I can just duplicate that also to show me quarters or months. It's very, it's very, uh, very friendly to use the pivot table timelines. So you can just work with that and just change. And you can see a summary per type, like income, cogs, or expenses. You can see the summary for the month. So that's what you can do. It's just what I did over here. Okay. So I can just shift the quarters and see. I can just select all of them. I can select 2013. I can select two years to see what's going on. So you can play with that, and it will uh, be very friendly for you to see how it looks. So the income is positive. The expenses and cogs are negative, and you get the final result. The last sheet here is a dashboard. Again, just an example of what you can do very easily. Again, you have the two slicers, and now you have basically uh, three charts that I built. The charts are coming from here, so I have three simple pivot tables. Here it has the description and the sum of the amount, and I just wanted to see income, so I've added a filter and filtered income. And the expense breakdown, same thing with expenses, and this is with the cock. So basically it's three different pivot tables, each for each type and here you just see the charts so you can basically it's very simple there's a pie chart a donut chart and a uh, uh, column chart you can do whatever you want you can just click on to do this you once you click the pivot table click any cell insert uh, a chart and you can insert you see this you can also of course in the design change if you want to change it later to pie chart or whatever you want to see and you can just see it that way and as always you can just change the formatting change the colors add uh, text whatever you want and of course what's nice is that these are all connected to the same slicers um, if you want to connect a slicer to one or more pivot table just right click on it click on report connections and you see that it is connected to all three pivot tables in the dashboard it's not connected to the summary, so it could have different um, different years. You see, here's 2022, here's 2023. Um, so, yeah, so this is the the file. Um, do recommend that you you uh, check out how to create the new transaction form because it's just easier. If you don't, if you're if you don't want to do it, you can always manually just key in date and whatever number you want and uh, whatever text you want but that's just a way and just remember to once you do that click on data refresh all so all the pivot tables will be updated but um, I really recommend just to uh, follow that the script the the guide that I built for the user form because it's super friendly and easy and it's not a lot of work to do it so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and I'd be happy to read your comments. And this file will be available on my Patreon page, so um, you're more than welcome to join and get all the files, all the videos, uh, or on my Etsy shop. That will be also available for one-time purchase. Thank you. Have a good one.